move it into place. All right, cool. There we go. That's probably good for now. What's going on, everyone? Hopefully, you're having a good Friday. Weekend's coming up. For some of you, that means work anyways, but for some of you, that means, hey, relax. So we're just going to go ahead and do our thing here at the print shop, uh, get stickers out, labels, and then uh, go ahead and talk to you guys in between. Makes it kind of fun. You know, Friday, we're pretty consistent now with uh, posting uploads. We have a video in the works. Are we releasing it Saturdays now? Is that our video day or uh, Sunday? Probably Saturday. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stick to the Saturday where we're uploading. Uh, so far, we've had two weeks in a row. We're going to go ahead and do this week, and we have a video coming after. So check out Saturday. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. If you have any questions, uh, hit the thumbs up. But always check out our subscription or our join uh, because we have membership uh, videos that we're posting out now. Uh, I believe there's one last week where if you're a member of YouTube, you can check it out. It kind of watched part one and then it goes into membership part two. Uh, it's like an old school magazine subscription. So it's right next to the thumbs up, thumbs down on a browser or Android. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to production. I'm going to pull up your guys' uh, info here. That way I can kind of answer as I get this prep. I'm doing a color calibration on this unit right now. So once that's there, then it's going to go into production. So we have quite a few jobs here today that we're going to go ahead and get out. I also just did a replacement of the drum. So we may have some uh, um, things I need to take care of with that as well. Uh, let's see. Refresh this page. And is my own channel showing up? Oh, switch account. I'm in Aztec with this. That's right. Sign out. Sign in again. Um, no, I need to go to this guy here. All right. Put these in the bin over here. And go to hashtaglabels.com. YouTube. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't been to Aztec Labels. Oh, big thing. Aztec If you haven't subscribed or joined already there, it's free to lock in the pricing. The pricing you see there is for resellers. It's gonna go up without creating an account. Uh, so if you want the pricing that's there, we are probably one of the lowest in pricing and we still produce the highest in quality. So uh, go sign up there. You don't need to buy anything, but at least it locks in your pricing. Wow, that is not YouTube. Uh, what link did that go to? Okay, there we go, moving production. Open this up, Let's turn off the mic, so we're not getting a triple feed there. Humane, what's going on? Hey, thank you so much for being a member here. It means a bunch to us. Felix, what's up? Uh, my guys, congrats. Hey, thank you. Uh, Yuka, what's going on? Who made your website? So for Aztec Labels, we made our website. Uh, Sarah, actually Sarah did. <laughs> yeah. So she's like, you know what, let's just make it minimal because uh, we were having some errors with some conflicting things on there. And we're like, we just want speed. This is for resellers. So they know what they're doing. We just want speed. We want fluidity throughout the whole web page. Uh, and she's like, let's go with the minimalist web page. So she set it up. She designed a couple things. I tweaked one or two stuff. I'm mainly on the back end. Uh, so uh, with her as well, you know, like we're kind of adjusting things as far as the pricing the layout of the products and stuff like that so uh yeah it was it was us okay so for whatever reason it is oh you know what we may have gotten a phone call even though i put it on no there we go okay it blocked out for a second may have gotten a phone call even though i put it on do not disturb i don't know why i keep showing uh shop vids Man, I am balding like crazy. I need a hat. Let's get a hat. Uh, okay. Uh, let's show everyone, other print companies, how to make your products uh, so they can take your ideas and you lose the business. I have no idea why people think uh, this has any gains. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, think what you want to think, uh, you know. Uh, but, hey, if you want to keep watching, go ahead and keep watching. Uh, want to make my video sites uh, too? Uh, yeah, go for it. Um, let's see, uh, shop vids, uh, uh, shop vids, I don't know, I'm saying shop vids. If you think you can do everything we can do and it's that easy, then go ahead and do it, man. <laughs> More power to you. Um, all right. So I have some color charts coming out here and we'll go ahead and load this up. 
So this is going to be color density that we're going to calibrate. Uh, Felix, what's up? Uh, my guy, this is the guy on top. It takes vision. Yeah, if, if it was this easy, like uh, just, oh yeah, put a printer on and then go for it. Uh, everyone would do it, right? But uh, we've already, I mean, just even with the other printers that we've had and other processes, uh, people are always like, man, I got this printer or I did this thing. It's not working. Or how do I do this and that? Like you got to put in the time and effort. And it's for some people and it's not, you know, it just depends who you are. Uh, Jacob, good morning. So you ship to Canada. We are working on that. Uh, Canada is a huge, huge part of uh, where people are asking us to ship to. And so we are trying every day to go ahead and ship there. Um, we're just trying to find a realistic cost breakdown so that, um, you know, we could actually charge the right price for shipping. It all really just comes down to the shipping, honestly, you know, as expected. Let me go ahead and put this here. I'm going to put the drum that I replaced aside. Also, if you guys want samples, go ahead and check out Azteclabels.com for label printed samples. We have a booklet finally for resellers there. Uh, so this first booklet is going to be a smaller booklet, but it has eight different uh, types of material. Um, so, or two different types of material, eight different finishes uh, for the combination. And so you're going to get eight of these guys with our little sample page, two sets of each. So you can give to a customer. Uh, once we get the automated cutter set up, uh, right now we're using an Epson C6500 to cut. Uh, but once we get that set up, then uh, we'll go ahead and offer like a big bundle or maybe them on a roll uh, so that it's easier for you to process. So you can have like 25 of each type. But right now, uh, it's just the pamphlet with a couple extra sets so you can give to customers if you need. And that way you see the quality that we produce. It's, it's actually amazing quality. It's not uh, small, you know cheap stickers or anything like that or, or uh, whoops or cheap uh, vinyl gotta get a table over here we rearranged some things temporarily so that way we could uh go ahead and um have a little bit more room but uh, as you see we're filling up this is going to go into the other back area where we have our other uh, print equipment and finishing stuff and mostly storage Okay, let me cut this up here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and align this. Okay, uh, shop vids, uh, no concern, but there's a reason no one else is doing this. You're clearly very new to the industry. <laughs> He's very obsessed with the fact yeah. that you're giving away all your secrets. Yeah, yeah, very obsessed. Cool, man. Well, you can always turn it off if it's bugging you, man. All right, so let me go ahead and load the density here. Okay, start measurement. That's okay. All right, so this is going to check all the scans as long as I cut it the right width. And then uh, we'll go ahead and calibrate the density. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything is working fine. If I have to go uh, another step further, we'll go from there. But, hey, uh, Stephen, huge shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for uh, becoming a member. Narada, how is the true holding up? Uh, what is it? Uh, Narada, how's the true biz holding up? Uh, TrueViz is awesome. Uh, so that thing is printing all day, every day. So we have two rolls we process on it, almost two full rolls a day, uh, sometimes a little bit more, but that takes uh, 11 hours to do a full roll. For some clients, uh, it's okay to downgrade the uh, resolution because they're really, really big. And so we can kick out rolls a little bit faster than that. Uh, but we have uh, a roll of laminate to a roll of uh, vinyl just about every single day. Uh, let's see. Okay, Jacob, sounds great. How's the rolling machine working for you? Oh, we are once again, it's doing great. Let's see. 
you men, uh, yeah, definitely uh, let me know about the uh, samples uh, on Aztec labels. You can go ahead and click on uh, shop and uh, you'll see that um, the sample booklets will be right there. I think we sold like uh, 40 or 50 of them. There's zero cost to you, but just the shipping. So some people pick them up locally. It's zero dollars. You can pick them up for free. Uh, some people have them shipped to you and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, calibration was registered to the controller. Okay. So those look good. Let me see my charts. Uh, 165, 162, 102, 195, it's 185. So those have to go down a little bit on that. I'm going to go ahead and do an adjustment. Okay, 180. Yeah, that's higher. I'm going to go ahead and drop that too. And then 162, 155, that is the magenta. We'll drop that one. And yellow is always, I never have an issue with yellow. Black, 195, that's really high. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that too. Okay, let me go ahead and put this roll back on and we'll do another calibration. I replaced some components and drums, so it's different than what it was before. And this is why you do the calibrations. Usually it takes about 30 minutes to do the calibration. I find that I only need to do it once or twice a week for my print volume or when I'm uh, redoing some stuff, some components. Okay, click close adjustment, but I always like to make sure everything is perfect. I can't have it not be perfect. That's that's just how I am. You guys, if you guys have seen our videos right from the beginning, then you know. Okay, start calibration, print, print, fired it up over there. We'll go ahead and toss this out. So today's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video because we do have quite a bit of production we have to run. But Fridays we've been on live and we figured, hey, we'll go ahead and we'll hop on there. Okay, so it's people getting info on the machine so they can buy one, another company, an idea in the air. <laughs> Shop vids, man. Oh, hey, if you want to, go ahead and buy it. Uh, as well as the GM, uh, the GM BC330, go ahead and reach out to them. They are a great company. I've had no issues with their machine. Uh, yeah, we actually had a couple of other companies come over here and check it out and they ended up purchasing it as well. And so, yeah, it's a great, if you guys like this equipment, go ahead and buy it. Hands down, you won't have any issues at all. Just figure out how to run them. Uh, shop vids. Uh, no, we have been in the industry for 20 years and giving people this kind of info is asking for them to take your customers' ideas and all of your research. Then go ahead and go for it, man. Like, I, I don't I think, understand. Uh, I think he's uh, <laughs> yeah. having a hard day. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay, let's see here. Graps. Hello, can we get info on the press in the back? Uh, so, uh, you're talking about the finisher system? Uh, I think he's talking about the Roland. Oh, the Roland. The Roland. Uh, yeah, so it's a Roland uh, TrueViz VG2. Uh, the thing's amazing. We haven't had any issues with it. Um, where we thought one print head went out, it just needed a super clean. Yumin, uh, we got in contact with uh, many uh, GM nice people from Denmark. Uh, it's just a bit expensive. Yep, they're they're pricey, uh, but they're really good uh, pieces of equipment. Uh, we've had zero issues with them. Uh, no, the one by the window. Okay, yeah, so that's a GM finisher. Uh, so it's from Denmark. It's a sweet machine. Uh, they are a little bit more pricey, especially because you have to import. But the looks of them are nice. More importantly, the functionality of them is awesome. It's all touchscreen. It's really easy to store jobs and plates and different things. Um, and so it just makes a nice work fluidity from one machine to the other. Uh, I would suggest if you're having this setup where they're not connected, you can get a connection. I chose to break it up so I can print rolls and then uh, cut the rolls later. Uh, but uh, I would get the left-hand version instead of the right-hand version if you're splitting them up on two machines. Um, Big Max, uh, Mountain Hustler, uh, Shop vids, what's the problem with you? Is your company going under? If you need help saying open, I bet Derek and Sarah could help out. 
Yeah, absolutely. If uh, if uh, shop vids, you need help at all, let me know. Uh, but uh, yep. Let's see, I think I answered all the questions here. All right, let me go ahead and adjust this guy here. Oh, okay. He's talking about your yeah, side. yeah. Just fix it. Hey, Minnie, how's it going? We are doing great. Okay. So right now it warms up. In the beginning, it needs about five minutes. After that, if you're consistent, it can go two minutes each, uh, one after each other. Minnie says, all good here. Thanks. Good morning at the print shop. Gal, to you, sir. <laughs> Wow, we're, uh, oh no, we started three minutes ago, okay. Oh, there's 36 watching. I was like, oh, it's been 36 minutes already. All right, so we're knocking out labels. If you guys haven't, go check out aztecklabels.com, uh, A-Z-T-E-C-L-A-B-E-L-S. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it in the link, but if you're someone who wants uh, someone to print uh, or resell labels, we have reseller packets there. We have reseller pricing right off the bat so you can see what the cost of labels is. Uh, we're extremely competitive. It's just Sarah and I, we run all the equipment personally. So you know you're getting quality. You know you're getting the best of the best regarding labels as far as printing on semi-gloss paper and BOP. If you've seen the other videos, you know we just took a, a couple of pallets. We have over 100 rolls of 5,000 feet uh, in semi-gloss, over 150 in BOP. So there's no shortage there. Uh, we are printing day after day, hour after hour for you guys. And we're just knocking out um, a label. So it's growing extremely fast. We love working with you guys. The best thing about working with resellers, you guys, is that you perform the uh, artwork alignment, you know what you want, and we're able to speed up the process of getting you the labels because you send it ready to go. And it just works like a really good partnership. So we're on the production side, you guys are on the sales line, and it works flawlessly together so far. So we are super happy for that. And of course, if you guys need answers or questions, or if you need, if you have questions you need answers to, we are here to go ahead and help you out with that. Uh, okay. right now. Who? Matt and Ariel. Oh, no way. All right, Matt, what's up? Hey, hey Ariel, how's it going? Hi, you're baby so, for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> congratulations, by the way. Absolutely, congratulations. Uh, all right, so I got the uh, print done here, and uh, let's go ahead and see if the registration is good. Um, stop this here. All right, so take this off. But uh, yeah, the support has been really good here, and uh, you guys are loving the products. And so we just want to say thank you for using us as uh, your reseller platform. But check out the samples. Samples are really good. We've had a lot of positive uh, return on them. And I know people have been asking for the samples forever. It's just with the workload that we have, we've been completely swamped and uh, have not been able to create them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sarah's already assembled the books, so they're ready to go out the door. Uh, the samples themselves are free. The shipping we do charge for. But if you're in the area, you could just come pick them up, and we don't charge for that. Go ahead and purchase. I think we've had like 37 people do that. We've had... 48 shipped or 50 shipped now. I have to see what it's at. So uh, all positive feedback on it. All right. So let me go ahead and open up the other software. Uh, Felix, uh, where's the Print Shop Talk merch? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have the Print Shop Talk merch. Uh, yes, definitely yes. do. <laughs> we have quite a few people asking for it. Okay. So we got shirts that are going to be posted. I don't know if they can hear me or not. Um, oh, here. Take, take the magic. No, I don't want the mic. I don't want the mic. <laughs> we have shirts that are going to be posted. And then I also printed out. You got shirts. Those are posted. Um, and then for Print Shop Talk and for uh, Sierra stickers. But that is going to be on another website coming up here in one day. With a nice matte finish. So, yep. yeah. We got stuff. <laughs> Jacob, uh, where are you located? So we're in Sacramento, California, just outside of Sacramento, about 10 minutes, um, where there's there's a couple of other print shops here. We're friends with a couple of them, actually, and then more 
uh, South and San Diego. We have quite a few other print shops we're friends with. Um, you know, every now, every now and then they need uh, flexo jobs. I'll send over. Sometimes they have digital. They send over to us. Uh, and then specialty foils, like we'll do uh, uh, cold foil. So they'll send jobs like that to us uh, where we have the capability. And so it just kind of works out really nice. Um, that's why it's nice to have other friends who are in the same industry. I just ship like 20 rolls of semi-gloss to someone and they just ship uh, some bop over. And oh, it's crazy in this industry right now. Some companies have eliminated their printers completely because they can't even get material and they've gone to just applications. And now we're printing for just application companies. Uh, so we're friends with a lot of print shops in this area and we just kind of trade work back and forth for whoever can do it more efficiently. And we seem to be one of the shops that can do it the most efficient in our area. Um, let's see, Michael, uh, what resolution do you print at your stickers and labels? So we print at 1200 by 1200 for the labels and we print at 900 by 900 for the uh, stickers, but don't let the resolution uh, number fool you, okay? Resolution for the wide format, say you get uh, HP Latex while the image is really good, if you were to print 900 by 900 on the HP Latex, it is like three times more resolution if I were to print on 900 by 900 on a solvent because the droplet size, they're measured in picoliters. Okay, you can put 900 drops in a row of, uh, let's say, uh, bowling balls, right? 900 drops in a given um, area of bowling balls. Or you can put 900 drops of, let's say, golf balls in, a, in the same area. What is going to be more fine detail? The bowling balls are going to overlap each other, whereas the golf balls are going to be able to be more defined and detailed because they're smaller. And that is kind of the comparison of what I can give to the Roland versus the Latex or any other uh, printer wide format that has a smaller droplet size. So the detail in the Roland is like three times more than what we notice in the uh, HP Latex. Uh, go ahead and keep it back uh, too far. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're squeezing through. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, let's see. What resolution? Okay. Uh, thanks, you guys. Rock. Hey, thank you so much. All right. Um, let's see. Felix also says, also owner and operator of a company. Cool, man. Yeah, hit us up. Uh, we have pricing, uh, like I said, right on our website. That pricing on Aztec Labels is going to go up. Uh, so if you haven't created your account there, Go ahead and create it so you can kind of lock in that pricing because uh, it's about to be raised a little bit. All right, so let me go back to the chart, do the density here, register. A little bit slower because I'm <laughs> talking, can't knock it out as fast. Okay, so it looks like our numbers. Okay, 172. 151, that's good. One is perfect, 185. Okay, so it's just the cyan that I'm a little bit high on, uh, about five points. I'd like to be a couple points down. So let me go ahead and run the accuracy measurement. And then I will do one more that isn't really necessary. But as you guys know, I do like perfection, especially because we print for some companies that are extremely picky on color accuracy. So that's another benefit. If uh, you're ordering from a company that doesn't have majority of their customers that are picky as far as color, um, the company's probably not going to worry about color accuracy, right? Well, we have some companies that are extremely picky about uh, color, and so we always have to make sure that our uh, printer is up to color because what we print today has to be matching uh, what it was before. So we'll go ahead and start this. Okay. Oh, whoops. No, I don't want to start that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel here. And okay, let's see. Why won't you cancel? Task manager. It's waiting for a sheet to be scanned, and I don't have that sheet because I didn't do it. Okay, so don't accidentally hit accuracy measurement when you haven't printed it yet because it will lock up the system, which is no fun. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. No, stay on this. Let me minimize that tray. Move this over here. Come on, how can I get to that? It shows it in the window, but it won't let me click it. That's frustrating. All right, let me go ahead and just close it. And then open it back up again. Uh, Luke, what's up, Luke? Hey, can I ask what settings do you use uh, to stop the blade sliming down when you perf cut? I have that in a members only video. So next to the thumbs up, thumbs down button, there should be join. Uh, once you become a presidential membership there by selecting that class, you can go ahead and see all the videos uh, that are uh, listed there. Um, let's see. Michael, uh, thanks, you guys rock. Hey, thank you so much, man. Um, let's see, did I miss any other videos up here? Oh, see, now it wants to, now it wants to connect. Okay. Calibration. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the calibration. Print. And print. All right. Let's see, it's 10.06. I have quite a bit of jobs I have to run through here. Okay, it's warming up. It's going to go ahead and do the accuracy for the, uh, or the print chart for the accuracy measurement. And then I have the G7 calibration, which uh, calculates part of the grays. And then... Uh, I already have the color chart balance for this, so I don't need to worry about that. But at least I will know everything will be perfectly up to calibration, good to go. And FedEx is here. Let me see if they have some die plates for me. I'll go ahead and unlock it. I'll lock the door so we don't get a bunch of people coming in and out. We're not really a uh, walk-up service unless somebody's ordered something. Everything's pretty much done online or we'll reach out to them locally and deliver something but uh okay yemen says uh how was it you print and deliver for resellers oh that's not sure so um uh, how uh we when we print we now have the uh return address say shipping department but with this new integration it has your uh, business address so when we ship to the customer, it won't have any of our information on it. It'll have a blank packing list of what the items are and then a, uh, without any of our info. And then it'll have ship from your address and then ship to uh, will be the customer or the shipping to address. So whatever you put for billing and your company address will show up as the return. And then whatever it ships to obviously is the customer. Uh, so it has zero information of ours. Um, and, uh, let's see. So we print now, we are now about a three day turnaround time. As long as we don't have to order dies. If we have to order dies, it adds about three days to that. So if you go to the web page, you select the size. And if we have to put that exact size that you have above, because it's not in the die list, that is going to add three to four business days because we have to wait for the die to get here. Um, we're going to soon integrate flexo single color on the flexo press. And, uh, if our business expands to about double what it is now. We're either going to get another press here or we're going to dive into the Flexo industry. So we have to see what we're going to do. I think we're just going to stick with digital because the demand is so high right now with digital. And we have a lot of uh, partners that we don't kind of want to step on their toes with uh, Flexo uh, right now. But there is enough workload for everybody to kind of be cool. But digital is kind of in our industry up to about a million pieces. And then we start outsourcing it to Flexo shops. Um, let's see, the, the investment and the knowledge in digital is just so high. And the investment and knowledge in Flexo is so high. It's like, oh, you really have to have kind of a team to get into one its own. And right now it's Sarah and I and some help with the hands. So we've really kind of just gone through this machine as much as I can. We service it ourselves. 
Whereas Flexo, I just don't think I could service myself and this and operate both. So it's a big leap to say, hey, let's go somewhere else. But a single station like that, we can go ahead and manage because it's already in our, our process. It's already in the system that we're using. Um, I just, it is an option. It is an option if we grow to hire some more people. Um, see, happy Friday weekend. Um, super uh, uh, satisfied wholesaler. Hey, Harris, thank you so much, man. Uh, just an update, waiting on client response. Congrats on the growth. Yep, we'll be ready to go as soon as I uh, give approval. Uh, Yemen is fast. Absolutely, man. Thank you. Uh, a lot of shops are like eight days, seven days, eight days out. Uh, let's see. And you guys know, like if there's any issues, I've had two issues where it is my mistake. And so like we just overnight it. We get it done that day and then we overnight it. We take care of our customers. Any issues, we don't battle. Oh, no, it's your fault. Oh, it's my fault. It, there's none of that. We take care of you guys. We make sure you get your product because ultimately you're the one doing the sales and we want to make sure you are happy. <laughs> you are the lifeblood. So if you have any issues, we're not the kind of company to say, oh, send us, you know, the photos of this and that to see if we're going to do it or not. If we ever request photos, it's to make sure we don't have that error happen again. And so it's been overwhelming positive. Uh, hey, this is good. Let's get another job going. Uh, how can we, uh, you know, maybe reduce the price here? Uh, certain days you're printing, can we group together? And so it, it's been great. We've eliminated a lot of it by just having a very efficient web page. Give the current rates and uh, go ahead and uh, order order from the page now, and it's the lowest pretty much rate possible. Um, it's pretty much the lowest rate possible. Uh, let's see, iDreams uh, or Idris. Uh, Hey, can you advise me with the best label print and finisher solution to start with as a small business? So we had the Epson C6500. It's uh, slower, but to start, I don't think there's an issue. Uh, the one thing you got to note is that the adhesive, I'm uh, sorry, not the adhesive, the coating on the label stock is very expensive to get the coated material right now. Uh, it's in short supply and it's feeling kind of tacky after you print on it. So it's more for just like very small short runs, 100 pieces. 150 pieces, somewhere around there. Once you start getting up into a thousand piece labels or 2000, you're gonna to wanna to use an, uh, a reseller. Uh, hopefully someone like us, you know, I'd love to print for you because our pricing is gonna be at what it costs for the material itself. And ours are already printed. We're professionally finished uh, with a, a dye as well as uh, coatings. You could have UV gloss, you could have matte, you could have UV laminate, I'm sorry, a regular laminate. Uh, so there's different options there. Um, I'm watching from Uganda. How can I get this machine? GraphTech FC9000. You're going to have to go to GraphTech online and click like their dealer portal and see where it is. I have no affiliation with these companies. I don't sell anything. I'm not getting money from any of them. So that way I can stay neutral and just do what I need to do. Uh, if you want to see more things about pricing materials and things like that and location, go ahead and click the link uh, right next to the thumbs up and thumbs down. It's the join button. Uh, it's like $14.99, old school magazine. You click on that, you can watch the videos, and you can see all the awesome information I have there for uh, members who join the YouTube channel. Uh, let's see. All right, so I have the printed calibration. I got to run through this step one or two more times. Uh, I'm getting a little sidetracked because I'm talking, but uh, like, subscribe, comment down below if you find this uh, video useful at all or you like the content, and then uh, I'll catch you at the next video. Have a good weekend, guys.